One thing I should mention is, as I'm switching back and forth between different projects, they've actually sped up the loading of a project, especially large projects. So that's another nice feature of Liquid Edition version 6. I hope you're not tired of me saying that yet. So let's say we're finished with our project and I want to clean it off my hard drive, but I also want to archive it for potential future use. Perhaps I'm producing a television commercial for a client and every six months or so they like to update it, but I don't want to save it on my system just sitting there. I think what I would do in that instance is I would buy myself a removable hard drive that I can put into a removable hard drive tray, budget that into my expense of my project so the client pays for their own hard drive, and then, once I'm done editing the version for now, I'm going to back it up using the File, Manage Projects, hey, Backup Project. And as I open this up, you can see it gives it automatically the name What's New, based on the name of my project, and then it gives it a system annotation so that it knows where to file it on the hard drive. I can choose the hard drive to go to, and then I've got the option of choosing just the project files, which is all the metadata, all the information that the computer deals with. When we lay out our video clips on the timeline, the way we lay it out, that's all the metadata. The time code in and out points of each individual video file, that's metadata. The actual video file sitting on the hard drive is a media file, and you can see that's the next option right down here. And then within that option, you've got two choices. You can just archive the imported media, anything that you imported into the system versus captured media where you actually use the logging tool to capture it from videotape. And then one last option is you can also choose to save the rendered files so that when I opened up that customer's project, I don't have to spend however long it takes to render out all the individual files. However, if I'm running out of space, this is not crucial because I can always re-render. I can't rebuild media files. Media files are the original shooting tapes, the original artwork that you've imported off a of CD-ROM, so on and so forth. It's always good to save those if you're going to archive a project. Down here you can see it's calculating the size of this particular project, and right now it's showing a size of 9,576 megabytes or 9.5 gigabytes. Fairly large, 472 files, and that's including all my media. Let me turn off the media. Oh, and that goes down to 8 megabytes. So you can see if I turn the media files back on, that most of that 9.5 gigabytes of space being taken up was all the media clips, all the video files sitting on my hard drive. Again, what's the difference? Media files, that's the video, all the images. And by the way, imported media also includes titles that we create within Title Deco RT. So it would always be a good idea to save those. Let me turn off the captured media and see what that does to the size. Okay, that changes it by about 3 gigs. So still, all the imported media that we've imported into this project still is taking up quite a bit of space. So, there we go. And then, finally, let's take a look at the Options tab. Here we have the option to overwrite without warning, so perhaps we back up our project to the client's removable hard drive as we go. We've got the option to overwrite without warning, so every time I choose to back up hitting the Go button down here, Start Saving, it's going to overwrite that without warning me. We also have the option here to compress project files. That will take up less space, but it's also going to take more time to compress. And when we restore this project, it's also going to take more time to uncompress those project files. And then finally, our last option is to burn this out to a CD or DVD. Again, 9.5 gigabytes might be a little bit more than we can squeeze onto a dual-layer DVD. Once we've backed up our project, it's always a good idea to make sure that everything is there by going into Windows Explorer without readjusting any of the file structure of the backed up project. We can at least check the size to make sure that everything's there. Then we can go ahead and delete the project off our hard drive and make sure everything's gone. And then six months down the line, when it's time to restore that project, we come up here to File, Manage Projects, Restore Project. And now we need to set the directory where it would be by searching to the hard drive location. And then we have the option of bringing in just the project files, media files, versions thereof, and rendered files as well. And then finally on the Options tab, we can overwrite without warning. 
Add Media Path to Media Management dialog volume list. So this would automatically add a path in our media management to where we're going to restore this project to. Mm -hmm.